today I'm going to be helping my fellow fit and curvy girlfriends, making it easier for them to go shopping without leaving the store, smudged in mascara, because let's be real, nothing fits the curvy fit girl. So I've come up with six kind of guidelines to get us through the department stores and leaving with fists full of handbags and clothes instead of just smeared and ruined mascara. So tip number one, luckily for the Fit Curvy Girl, one of the best things that you can purchase are stretchy clothing. And I say that we're lucky in that instance because a lot of times stretchy clothes are made out of pretty synthetic material, so they're not gonna be as expensive as a true leather or wool or cashmere or anything like that. Um, you can find these type of fabrics at more cheaper stores and um, discount and bargain stores. So that is a good plus. So yes, you wanna stick with more stretchier items. Even if you are getting a leather jacket, I have a really cool leather stretchy jacket from Express. Um, Jeans, you don't want to fit, try to smush your legs into really tight skinny jeans. You're going to want to make sure that they have kind of a stretch and they're going to feel just as comfortable as the workout pants that you wear to the gym, which who doesn't love the workout pants, let's be real. So anything with stretch is going to be your absolute best friend. Number two, you're going to want to just show off one of your strongest assets. So that's either going to be your arms or your legs. Um, now I'm all about loving your body and I think that's absolutely amazing but sometimes you know you just kind of want to look a little classy maybe a little just put together you don't want people you know asking you about working out all the time and stuff you just kind of want to look nice and go out and not have to you know worry about like your muscles popping out let's be real here so um, either highlight your arms so you can wear a nice tank top with some jeans or a long maxi skirt with a tank top or shorts and heels and maybe a longer sleeve shirt or a flannel rolled up. So that's just a general rule of thumb. Just try to show off one of your best features. Number three, the best types of tops are going to be nipped at the waist for the curvy fit girl because one of our um, greatest assets are our smaller waist or at least the illusion of a smaller waist um, due to working out our shoulders and our legs. So it kind of gives us that whoop, Coke bottle shape. So Coke bottle shape, hourglass shape, that's what I'm trying to talk, say. <laughs> so yes, anything that nips in at the waist. So think about peplum tops. I know that was kind of a fad a few years ago. That fad is still in my closet because guess what? Those look good no matter what, especially if you know I've been to the gym and I've had like my protein shake and I'm feeling a little bloated for the day. Let's be real here. Um, a peplum top is just gonna kind of knit my waist and then accentuate my hips. Same thing with dresses. Um, sure, go ahead if you feel really comfortable in a really skin tight dress. Feel free to wear that, it's gonna look great on your butt. But um, for like kind of everyday dress wear, you know, something that's more tight through your midsection and then it kind of flares out a little bit is going to look absolutely awesome. Number four, go with simple patterns. And sure, I am a big fan of mixing and matching patterns and having really cool, like just different textiles and all that stuff that you wear. But for the curvy girl, since we are um, a little bit disproportionate up top and below, sometimes a large print can just get lost in the mix and just make you know, our bodies look not as amazing as they really are. So, you know, a nice camo print, a small check, um, dots, just something that's very subtle is going to look absolutely the best. Number five. All right, how jealous are you, if you are a fit girl, of the girls that can wear those super like baggy sweaters and just wear like a cool pair of jeans and like cuff them? Yeah, that doesn't work. If I wear a baggy sweater, it goes over my chest and it makes me look like I'm nine months pregnant. So even though there are times that I don't feel like wearing something that's super skin tight up top, it looks the best, especially, you know, just to kind of, like I said, accentuate your curves and your shoulders and everything. What we're trying to do here is dress us to look the best that we can. Now, if you feel like you look great in a flowy top, go ahead, wear it. But for me personally, I just know that I feel like I get the look like, are you expecting? No, I'm not just have a food baby going on right now. So uh, yeah, a nipped waist is going to look best, something that's not flowy. And then number six, is going to be show off your best areas. So for me, I like my shoulders a lot, um, but sometimes they can just, you know, if I'm in a dress or whatever, they can just appear a little um, 
been on the boxier side, which I don't mind personally, like when I'm in a bikini, but if I'm in a sweater or a long sleeve shirt or something like that, I like to kind of take the gaze and put it towards my neckline because it's going to make this whole area look a little bit slimmer and then make me just look toned and um, show off those awesome angles. So if yours um, strong area are your legs, try wearing, you know, shorts and high heels or a shorter skirt and high heels and boots and a longer sleeve top, something that you can show off appropriately, still matching your style and still looking great. So those are my six tips. I'm gonna leave you with one last thing. I was a stylist for men for three years and one of the biggest challenges that guys would find is that their legs couldn't fit into pants or their chest would be too wide and the buttons would break and gather and everything. So I would always tell them that their best friend needed to be a tailor and that goes for the fit curvy girl as well. If you find a dress you really like um, and you can't fit into it, feel free to size up like three sizes and then just bring it to your tailor. Literally, they can do amazing things. Um, one of the easiest alterations actually is to nip the waist of your jeans or your pants. Um, and you know, we oftentimes just think like, oh gosh, I have to go up three sizes. I don't want it. I don't want to see that number in my closet. Just get that out of your head, buy the jean that fits your legs, and then take your waist in by seeing a tailor. All right, that's it. So if you are not a fit curvy girl, but you have a sister or a friend, your mom might be really curvy and fit, um, please tell them about my video because it took me a couple years to kind of figure out, you know, what worked best on me. My husband would often go to the um, store with me, sit in the waiting room, and then we would leave with absolutely nothing because I couldn't fit in anything. Um, that was super trendy. So now that I know to go with more stretchy things, things that show off my waist, things that kind of draw the attention towards my neckline, um, choosing either one baggy piece, like a baggy pant, a tight top, things have gotten a lot better and my wardrobe has expanded um, greatly. I haven't felt the need to just buy something that fits, like something that's gonna have pineapples on the shirt. If I don't really like pineapples, but the shirt fits so well, so I'm just stuck into wearing it. So um, I feel like my wardrobe is becoming more of my own and not just what is on the rack and just like what fits best. So I hope this helps and have a great day.